Oh god. Okay, uh, let's just try to stay calm and get through this today, okay? I know we'll be comparing you to others, but that's not a valid reason to do anything horrible to them, alright? Just, just stay calm. <laughs> oh boy. The one PR ship that, to this day, still scares me. I still remember when she first came out and everyone told me to look into her, because of just how she was. Something about her back then was very off-putting. Then I saw how she was, very... thirsty, but for something very different. She was very thirsty for the blood of her enemies, and that could also include her own allies if that was the case. Also, according to my livestream chat, that one of the best defenses against her is Leipzig. And now I feel like I need to go bonk the comment section for this one. Anyway, the Ironblood's rune, or Ron, I believe is how it's said, is up next. So let's all strap in and hope she doesn't go crazy. Shut up, Sky. On a side note, I don't have a PR cruiser to really compare against, so I'll compare against one of the best Ironblood cruisers that we have available, and that is Prince Heinrich. I may not have reviewed her personally, but she is one of the best that the Ironblood has to offer that is a non-PR ship. That said, the only other SR Ironblood cruiser that I've reviewed isn't really a good comparison. Sorry, Eugen, you're a nice waifu, but teasing and being tanky are probably the only things you're really good at. Anyway, let's see how Rune fares. Survival-wise, Rune's health pool sits well into the 5k mark. While it does barely lose to Heinrich, Rune's health pool is definitely not something to disregard. Combining that with medium armor, Rune's got some pretty good tanking capabilities unless she's hit with battleship or battlecruiser AP rounds. So just keep that in mind if you ever run into enemies like that. Now her evasion does beat Heinrich in this case, so she'll be better at dodging attacks than Heinrich. This can to a degree make up for that small difference in health with her evasion here. Now, I will say, against most SR cruisers, this is on the higher end, so she'll be better than most at dodging as well. Last but not least, her anti-air also barely beats Heinrich, but she is an Ironblood, so she'll definitely not beat the best SR cruiser in that department. She'll be better than Heinrich at shooting down planes and tanking airbase attacks, but the difference isn't going to be that much of a noticeable thing. Overall, Rune's got some pretty solid tanking capability with a decent sized health pool and pretty good evasion. This probably isn't too surprising. You could ask any Ironblood main and they probably would be like... <clears throat> now, her anti-air is a bit lacking, but Ironbloods naturally kind of have that as a weakness for them. But there are some ships that will work at the... No, Sandy. I meant Leipzig and her sister Nornberg. I wonder how Nornberg would treat Rune. I mean, because Leipzig did the- no, no, no. Moving on. Rune's offense capabilities are up next, and her firepower does lose pretty hard to Heinrich here. She might not do as much damage as her, but her firepower feels about average overall against all the heavy cruisers. So she'll be about the same damage-wise overall with her guns. She does have a torpedo, but much like her firepower, she does lose to Heinrich in this department as well. Normally this would be a bad thing, but heavy cruisers, Ironblood even more so, don't really focus on it. So while we won't be as effective as Heinrich, you're honestly looking at the wrong faction for this. But for now, I'll go ahead and spare you the sales pitch about the lovely Ibiki. I can already hear people calling me a simp in the comments. Lastly, her reload is a tad bit slower than Heinrich and actually slower than most cruisers. This just means that she'll be a bit behind on firing her guns, but the difference isn't going to be incredibly drastic that it's going to hurt her bad here. That said, her equipment might be important to think about for her, so let's see how she is in that aspect. Despite being a torpedo cruiser, Rune actually gets an additional main gun mount instead of an additional torpedo charge. This is honestly for the best, as her main gun sits around the average of 130%. Combined with a seemingly average firepower, her gun damage won't seem too different from most in that regard. Now, Rune's torpedo efficiency sits at 110%, which is very low for cruisers. 
even among the Iron Blood. This combined with her lower torpedo stat just means that she's really not going to be doing well with her torpedoes. Lastly is her anti-air gun efficiency, which is sitting at around 110%. That's around average to below average overall. So she won't perform too well in this department, but that's kind of natural for being an Ironblood, as I've mentioned before, and there are plenty of ways to account for that. Overall, Rune boasts a strong HP pool while also having the firepower to keep her from struggling like Prince Eugen and Hipper. Looking further at her into a level 120 and even level 125, we see she goes further into HP and firepower harder while getting a decent jump in about everything else. Her relatively good evasion combined with a health pool makes her a pretty solid front tank, if that's role that she needs to fill. Just keep in mind that PR ships with having no luck until their fate sims are worked on can be a bit of a negative when it comes to dodging. For her being a PR1 ship though, working on the fate sim won't be too hard since you can buy prints now. But this also means that seniority does kind of affect her a bit. Despite that though, she seems about on par with a lot of ships. So let's see how her skills will do in this case. Rune's first skill is Expert Loader, which does two main things. The first is that Rune will override the ammo type of her main gun to fire HE rounds. From there, after firing two shots, she'll switch her ammo type to AP. After firing two shots of that, she'll go back to HE rounds and repeat that cycle. The other part is that every time she fires her main guns, she increases her reload by up to 3.5%, and this can stack up to 12 times for a maximum buff of 42%. This reload buff can actually help her DPS a decent bit, but I should mention that reload does have diminishing returns, so I wouldn't expect this to be a huge reduction. The ammo switching is kind of a bit of a weird thing for me. Now, it does make it to where the ammo type of the gun you equip on her doesn't matter, so you can go for guns with a higher per shot damage instead. The other aspect is that the effectiveness of the gun during the swapping is going to matter depending on the armor type it's being used against you're more than likely to have two shots that'll do good damage and two shots that probably won't. Assuming the usual modifiers, she'll be best against medium armor foes with this ammo switching setup. She'll struggle with lights a bit on AP and definitely will struggle a bit with both against heavy. That said, being able to be periodically effective against both medium and light armors, I'd say is a pretty nice advantage that she'll carry here, instead of being pretty much stuck to either HE or AP. Now, to be fair, Normal ammo is pretty solid against all types, so losing normal ammo as an option can be a bit of a negative if you view it that way. If you're wanting a generalized idea of how ammo types work, feel free to pause it and look at this. Rune's second skill is Well-Rounded Armor, which activates every 30 seconds. Upon activating this, four rotating shields will spawn and last for either up to 15 seconds or until it's blocked 8 shots. If you completed her fate sim, then she'll also gain this right at the very start of the fight, on top of every 30 seconds afterwards. I'm not a huge fan of shield skills, even more so rotating shield, as they can run into a situation where they can block shots that were going to miss already and eat up your blocks, and even sometimes just straight up not block the ones that do end up hitting. That said, shields are still to a degree some form of damage mitigation and can help with incoming fire even if it's not a whole lot. So, every little bit counts, am I right? Now, Rune's final skill is the PR skill that's very common here, Siren Killer, which grants a damage buff against Sirens by up to 15%. This does start at 5% and increases periodically as you raise her dev level to 30. This skill really isn't anything major though, since Sirens aren't always the enemy you'll be fighting in the game. That said, when they do appear, it will definitely help take them out quicker. Overall, Rune isn't a bad cruiser to work with. She's got a good amount of tanking to her and does decent damage with her guns. Oh, and her barrage is actually kind of nice. Now, she does have a bit of seniority to her, so she's probably not going to be as strong in the meta as before. I mean, <laughs> there is the infamous joke about being a PR ship with a decent grind to her, only for a gotcha version of her to come out later and end up being better than her original self. Also gotta just point out that this is getting out of hand now, there are two of them! Anyway, mob or boss fleet. Well, while she can work in both, I can see some decent use for her in a boss fleet. She's tanky for boss fights, but she'll also be able to get more of her reload buff, which is how much longer boss fleets tend to take over mob fleets. 
That said, she could still very much help in mob fleets if that's needed. So that's why I think she can handle both, but she might see a slightly better performance in a boss environment. She'll definitely get her money's worth out of the reload buff mechanic that she gets. Now she may have a bit of seniority to her, but that doesn't mean she's unusable at this time. So she'll be able to do quite a bit for you, if you find yourself needing her. However, that seniority also means that she's not the best as a lot of the other options available. Uh, please don't hurt me. Please. <clears throat> and that'll be all for Rune. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and that it will help you in your endeavors. Next up is the HMS Maid Cirrus, so look forward to her video when it comes out. Whether you're a regular viewer or patron supporting the channel on Patreon, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again real soon. Oh, and on another note, if I disappear for whatever reason, start looking for Rune. It's more than likely her fault. Later!